Welcome to Mad TV single only high country motorcycle adventure. If you like your adventure raw, you've come to the right place. Time to test my Husky 501 rally in the challenging Victorian high country. So come with us on a two day motorcycle camping adventure. Learn some cooking skills off Nugget and get to meet the locals. All blended with a healthy dose of some cracking tracks and trails. So sit Whoa. back in that comfortable chair and come with us on a motorcycle it's adventure that'll make you smile. Day to day, this is it's clubby. It's Time was, to get a dirty day. It is, yeah. It's inaugural ride today with Nugget, so it's going to get really dirty in the Victorian Eye Country. Just got the photo shoot for Australian Adventure Bike Magazine and Dirt Action with Clubby, who's uh, editor of both magazines at the moment. Very busy bloke. So for those interested, we'll just quickly run over the bike. It's got a. Uh, it's a Husky 501 Heritage Edition. It's got a two North Motos rack. It's got an IMS 17 litre tank, Adventure Men Cave Tower. It's got Bark Busters. It's got off road valve system uh, suspension from K Tech in the front. It's got a bladder in the rear. It's got extra oil and it's got a cush drive. So it's pretty well set up, but it keeps eating rear number plates. It's a hungry beast, isn't it, though? Nugget. <laughs> Nugget. We're heading to Jindabyne. And you're on bloody empty again, you crazy man. <laughs> Are we going to make it? Oh, I'm a half full sort of a bloke. I reckon we can do it. We'll you, make the servo. You, <laughs> we're going to Sutton Forest. We must be 100 k's out of Sutton Forest. and what, 39 k's to empty. Yeah, I know. No, I'm in control. I'm going under the speed limit, nice and easy. Controlled throttle. You're carrying yeah, 360 kilograms worth of motorcycles. Hey, positive thinking will get us there, don't worry. Oh, positive thinking. God, Jindabyne, yeah. here we come, I think. Fuel station's unreachable. <laughs> You're outside of your distance to empty. Plan to find a station or risk running out of fuel. Mate, I cannot believe even the car's telling me to pull over. 37 kilometres, Sutton Forest is 75 kilometres away. Mate, have confidence in me. I'm just easing it on the throttle. The no. car is telling you we're not going to make it. Mate, it's not a WR. It just, mate, this thing doesn't choose. It's just this, so this, is, this is a terrible way to start an adventure. <laughs> this is... Oh, you see that? He overtook the truck and went past the <laughs> petrol station. I felt we were racing. Alright, Nugget, you've been driving on empty now for... <laughs> About 20 k's, I reckon. And the rest. I'm just taking it easy. Uh, it's been on naught for all that time. The car's telling me, but look, look, it's a computer. It might be able to beat me at chess, but I can certainly beat it in the car, I reckon. Okay. I've got to say, I cannot believe this. I was never in doubt. So we have run on zero <laughs> for 55 kilometres. Hey, put your trust in me. All these negative comments get us oh, nowhere. Geez. The glass is half full, not half, half full. Half full? There you go. I love testing it. I love pushing boundaries. Artificial intelligence. Yeah, <laughs> mate, don't listen to the computers. Bikes are coming off the trailer, Nugget. It's on. Winks back. Look at that. He's been in a bit of retirement of late, Oink. Oh, well, he's coming out of retirement. Right, yeah. All right. 
Oh, oh, better make sure it's on that. All right, I'll give you a hand. Leaving Lake Tinderbine. This goes Thomas Walker. Honestly, it's like herding cats. We're on it. Ginderbine, here we come. Here we go. Four amigos. Here we go. Tire pressure's done. Yeah, we only had 12 pound in them in this first bit of the track is very very sharp rocks punches tires very easily on Barry way really enjoying it it's a bit chilly but it's it's nice on the bikes the road conditions are ideal no dust you know, you've got to be happy with that what's going what's his name <laughs> what's his name teddy what? teddy teddy <laughs> Teddy, hey Nugget, <laughs> Teddy might be able to meet up with Oink. <laughs> Is Oink male or female? Or oh, we can't tell. We're not allowed to do that anymore. Allowed, no, not allowed, allowed to tell. Allowed to choose gender. So <laughs> yeah. Oink's, Oink's, Oink's gender neutral, or it's just mighty cold out here. I tell yeah, you. Yeah, it might be just mighty cold. <laughs> Riding along the Murray again, it's great to be back here. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Have a go at that. Murray River in full flow. Haven't seen it like that in many years. It's wonderful. Now, children. Yeah. I've been following behind a number of you <laughs> and you've been a little bit inconsistent with your cornering. Yeah. Like skids, skids and slide outs are cool. Yes, these looked uncontrolled at the Victorian border. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you got 25 per side on those little pebbles. I know. I know. I'm like a rhino on roller skates. Yeah. How'd you go on that one? Eight? It's never adventure without tools out on the side of the road this time it's stalker tom he tells me the face of his whole 701's about to fall off but somehow he's managed to keep it keep it on i might say he borrowed my cable ties as well did he nugget come to the rescue <coughs> now he's got his pliers out. i think he's fixing his pacemaker no? yeah well flash jamie as he's now referred to oh mate then my wife said that <laughs> this is already look the at this oh, my God. Look at this. See that? Look at that. <laughs> Just a mate. What's that called? The Mexican something or other? Uh, so it's from Taco Motos, but it's actually called the Enduro Plate. Taco Motos Enduro Plate. This yes, is what I'm getting, definitely. ladies and gentlemen, for my 701. Where's it from? Taco Motors? Yeah. Okay with your chorizo. How much did the banana cost? Look at that. Banana's on there oh, still. It's under control. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Nugget's got some new gloves. I haven't seen them before. They're very flash. No, nah, I've ripped all the things off them. They're oh, all falling yeah, a bit. Well, they're not quite flash. Nah, they're all half falling a bit. Got a new backpack though. Yeah, I saw that. Fits heaps more in this one. It's a Zach. The Zach Speed? Zach I had that Speed. small one. The day pack, I just couldn't get enough in it. Yeah. And this one. You're going to run your thing so you don't get smacked in the face. Cost me $220, best $220 I ever spent, I reckon. It hurt me at the time, but I'm glad I did it. All right. Rocky 
the old track. New nugget. This nugget, there he is. Bloody suspension on this bike is great for this sort of stuff. <laughs> it just allows you to hook up all the time, there are no excuses. Yeah, the giant loop pack has just hit me in the backside a little bit. I'd like to pull it back a bit. Down we go. so much better doing it on a smaller bike you know you got your heart in your mouth when you're in a big twin on this stuff That's the way you do it. in the drink. There's a 701 in the drink. God.
Come on, go! Three nugget. I'm sure. Did I see that bike wrestling around in the water there? Yeah. I thought it was a big. Yeah. I thought it was a big uh, turtle. Yeah. Uh, a beach so turtle upside down. Side. Nugget, we've been waiting a little while for them. What's happened? Inspector Nugget, I might Inspector say. Nugget? <laughs> I've, I've noticed some dirt and... Stars on up. There's a bit of dirt. Yeah, got a bit of elbow. Oh, there was dirt on the tree. There was dirt on the tree. Oh, dirt yeah. on the tree. Yeah. Were you just getting it low on the corners or are you... Oh, I'm oh railing this little... Look at yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even that first one, I lost my line and went up in a ditch and just had to climb it out of that. Yeah, Did I know. overtake you safely? Yeah. No, you rep that. <laughs> all, it's all on film. Yeah. Dave! What? <laughs> <laughs> there's both sides. Yeah. Both sides. And oh, there's Did he roll it? Broken. Soil. Oh no. Broken quite a lot, yeah. You were our... Uh... <laughs> oh, I got it here. I'll fix it. It just has to be put back here, that's all. Mmm. Broken. Mm. I like my spirit. Not much gets past us, does it, Dave? No. no. Not at all. These two new blokes on the uh, yeah. Mad TV room. <laughs> yeah, you know they both paid sixty thousand dollars to come with us on this yeah. trip. Yeah. Uh, sixty thousand to keep away. Yeah. <laughs> I just noticed another thing on Flash Jamie's bike that I'd like. Yeah. Look at these. You've got those special things that that tie onto the. The these, you, the these, those, those things. They come, they come with the bag. Oh, God. Moscow. And they are, uh, you can buy it separately with the bolts. Yeah, yeah, that's what I know. What is this native dog flat? Yeah, good. Camping life. Husky's done well today. Little chariot. Nuggets upgraded his tent. That's the flashest tent I've ever seen. <coughs> no, it's got me a, uh, uh, Oz Trail. Tasman 2. Yeah. Got a new tent. I don't know. Is it better than the $5 one or you don't know yet? Same tent. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll try it. 30 bucks. Can't argue. No. Nah. We're getting there. I wonder what you were doing. Is it going to be cold tonight? Don't know. Jamie's been a great contributor. He's given us this piece of wood. But one thing unusual about Jamie is he makes his tent with his helmet on. I'm filming. Oh, you're filming? <laughs> it's not a crash. That's a that is a tent.
a little bit of envy, it's number plate, rear number plate envy I've got there with his Taco Bell, whatever it is, yeah. number plate. Taco Bell. Taco Moto. Taco Moto, we're going to get one of those. Yeah. If you jump on their website, <coughs> there'll be a heap of stuff you like, like those indicators. Yeah, we're going to talk about them later. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed. Oh, look, if that's... That's a nice, lovely bit of horse yeah, yeah, awesome. Excellent. Yeah. Horsome. Yeah. yeah 701, it, the dashboard stayed on. Yeah, yeah, had to uh, do a bit of bush mechanics for that, but uh, it's, uh, it's probably better than what it was here with, the, with that on there. Yeah. So we've got uh, paraffin wax mixed with lighter fluid in yeah. the, you miss is what, cotton? Whatever. Cotton makeup wipes. Yeah, makeup wipes. And then you got a flint, or we'll just throw two of them in there. Alright, here we go. You just tear it to get access to the fibres. After you do that. Yeah. That should light straight up. Oh, here we go. Come on. It's like a sparkler. Yeah. There it was. Lighting. Oh, get out. He's away. He's away. Look and, at that. And these can be wet and they'll still light. Oh, they're cheating. That's cheating. That's beautiful. Look at that. It was Doesn't smoking. work. It was. <laughs> now, these usually die up a lot. Look at that. Look at that. What's, it's his taser. It's not doing much. It, it lights, but then it goes out. Yeah. Look at that. Right, He'll blow his up. hand it's, off. It's four minutes. Just goes What's going on here? Four What's minutes. On? That was the dud. And you can wet it and it'll still light because of the wax. Get out. Yeah, throw a handful. Do you these individually or do you just tip it in? No, individually, one by one, and I'll put them all on foil. I don't like those little biscuits. Yeah. Yeah, go on, eat one. Yeah, yeah like a papa dum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, paraffin <laughs> papa dum. I'll just get a tin. An old tin, and just boil up the wax in the tin. Yep. And um, and then uh, fill up with lighter fluid. Um, can you just buy these like jiffies? Yeah, you know what? You can't get jiffies. Oh, this is more fun though. <laughs> yeah, that's not that. yeah, this is good. Yeah, until we wait for you to do it. Tonight. What are you having? Tonight. This is deja vu. I'm having wild mushroom and lamb risotto date. All right. One part meal, unlike nuggets. Two, two part, part meal. Cock, cock of Vern. Yeah, he loves a cock. cock of Vern. Yeah, yeah cock of Vern. Learning more about him every day. It's a two part meal. I'll be interested how nugget goes with that. Mm. <laughs> I'm liking the setup. Here I have the chunky stock pot. There's a, a again a kilo, but oh look, wait. Here we got Jamie. He's oh, got his. Okay. What do you got there? Mashed potato for yeah, roast chicken. Roast chicken and the mash. Yeah. And then for a, a trailer, we've got a uh, chorizo from Rodriguez yeah. and uh, soft tacos. God, that's a surprise. Yeah. I can't wait to hear Coffee that. Coffee for the morning and date and coconut. God, help. Mate, you couldn't help yourself. <laughs> he couldn't help himself. I Ten I minutes. Tried. I know, I know. So he opens it up. We can't repeat it now. He opens it up, pulls his, puts his spoon in there. And eats, and it was like he was eating Jats crackers. <laughs> it was a bit <laughs> solid, but a crunchy, a crunchy I I chicken. Can't, crunchy I can't chicken look at it any longer. I'm gonna have to go for a It's walk. not, it's not cockavin. It's, it's, like it's, it's just, just that's just eat. hard cockavin. I just can't. There's can't no can't soft cockavin in that. That's all hard <laughs> cockavin. I just can't sit still. Take two. He's in chef mode. So it's your your cockavin should be a soft cockavin now. <laughs> So I open it up. I just want to just take a spoonful. I just want to hear if it can we all be quiet. I just want to hear it against his jaw. Come on. We've put some in your mouth. Let's just listen. Quiet on the set. Oh, it's, it's still crunchy. It's still crunchy. I think it was the sand on my spoon. No. <laughs> you know what you haven't done? You haven't put enough water no, that was in your dingbat. That's the celery in it. That's the vegetables. I know what I'm doing. I'm new Joe, not Nugget. That's French. <laughs> oh, oh, Nugget? No. No. Well, it's hard. No, it's not. It's mm. all right. Yeah, Tastes all right. Here he yeah, goes. Right. That's, that's all right. Where's the Parmesan? 
<laughs> That's mine, not you. No. You know, yeah. bloody... Puts his seasoning on. Yeah, yeah. Like Nuggets. You should... I should have yeah. washed my yeah, hands. Yeah, yeah. No, but you should have done like that, yeah. guys. Yeah. Done, guys. Thank you. A la carte. Mm. So this is a soft cocker bin. Have a look at that. You'd, mm. pay, you'd pay a lot of money at a fancy restaurant for that. So I've got cool. two stalkers on Mad TV. Yeah. One comes along, Jamie. What are we calling him? Flash Jamie. <laughs> with the KDM 500. Fancy pants. Fancy pants, Jamie. <laughs> and now he cooks his chorizo and sits it on some pita bread. Mm. And it's amazing. That's right. Camping life. Six o'clock in the morning. We, uh, I think we went to bed at about quarter to seven. So then I think we all woke up at 11.30. So the horses went galloping through here, didn't hear that. All I heard all night was Flash Jamie's chip packet mattress going off. And to my right was Nugget snoring and farting. Tom I couldn't hear anything from, but he says he could hear me coughing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to sleep comfortably, get a minus 10 sleeping bag. That's all I'd say. I was sleeping in undies. And look at this, we've got ice. Nagwa's out. Rise and shine. Morning's fine. God, Take mate. You make a pretty picture in the morning. Oh. Very attractive. Mate, I had to wake in the middle of the night. The knee guards are digging into me. <laughs> Oh, you didn't take your knee guards off? No, they're too far down. My arms are too little. But um, yeah, I had to wake up and get them off. I got them off and, and then I... It was too hard to get my strides back on, so I left them off. And then I woke up for a reason at about 2.30. Um, Jamie's bloody mattress sounded like a bloody herd of horses. I, I know. Oh, I, was, I was so uncomfortable. And look at him. I haven't even put the... Haven't Come on, what's wrong with your paraffin lighters? I You've haven't lit them yet. I haven't lit them yet. Quick, quick, you've got 12 seconds, Jamie. Five, a nine, eight. Come on, you can do it. Yes, he's done it. Look at that. Well done, mate. Beautiful. He's got this fire going again with his... He's going to sell us these bar bloody paraffin pads that he makes. It's good collecting. Nugget, I didn't, I didn't think my bike was going to start. Oh, no. Just went to do, to do, to do, to do, to do. I can't reach the... Choke because my fingers are too little fat. Big tank on. Come All on. Right. Let's try. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Love the big KDM, mate. God. Live from WR with this guy. Nah. Oh, well, after that lovely camp, we're heading into Benambra to get some petrol. Did you like it, man? Uh, feel it, thanks. It's nearly empty. <laughs> you drive like my mate's right. <laughs> that nugget, the fuel attendant. <laughs> he's a very good fuel attendant, isn't he? Yes, he is, and he's a good man to help me. Good on him. That's helpful, Nugget. Helpful, Nugget. Don't you rush, you're all right, no rush. Nugget didn't know it at the time, but he was serving Eileen Douglas, a Benambra legend. For more than half a century, Eileen was the official rainfall reader at the Brothers, a small hamlet just out of Benambra. Eileen also managed the local post office for years and is a renowned wool spinner that attracted the attention of the ABC. Her brother, now passed away, was the legendary Ken Connolly, the primary stunt rider in the iconic film, The Man from Snowy River. As soon as you go inside, I'm going to soften it all back out. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that, man. You... Nuggets hit Benambra. He's got a new fan club. Yeah. Oh, this is one of the oldest <laughs> residents. Ah, right. Yeah. My name's Eileen. 
Eileen, did you? So you ran the post office in Benambra? No, no, at the brothers. The brothers. That's a that's a town out, out from here. But it all wasn't good. a town. There was a school and a post office. Wow. Is that all? Yeah. Oh, houses. How many kids went to the school? Oh, oh no, there was only about four, and they closed the school oh, while we were there. And then they closed the post office. Yes. And how long did you have the post office for? Oh, I only had it about eight years. Oh, did you? Oh, well, not even that, I don't think. The car had a few scrapes on it. Oh, yeah, but that's not me. Come on. That's like my, oh, the yeah. mates in this boat rides like that too. Yeah, yeah. one side is me because yeah. one day I was coming down from home and there was a berry tree on the... Um, the tree got you. A, a berry tree. A hawthorn oh. berry. Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden the fog came down and I could not see anywhere and I stopped as quick as I could but I was in the tree. Into the berries. Oh, I've been dodging a few kangaroos. Yeah. The one was just running down the road with me. I could have patted it, it was that close to me. I could have hopped on it, I was trying to lay through it. Sleeping bags. Oh. <laughs> no doubt you would have. This boy paid your fuel. He I know, ja fuel, he? not only is he... It's generous, Jamie, as He's well. He's not cook. No. No, it's good to be nice. You make someone's day. Sometimes it's all they need. You don't get anywhere. Yeah, kind of. This is this is pension of country, mate. Good job, boy. Look at the fire. Look at the boots. Fantastic. Outstanding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's it's looking after us. Right. We're at the big table. So yeah. Thank you very much. Bacon and eggs. Wool classing table. It is a wool classing table. A wool classing. Oh, this too. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Looking nice. All right. Thank you. Okay. Where are you? You're up the, up the top there. You're the dad. track's amazing. I mean it doesn't look much but it's so much fun. But again the suspension is just so good. It really highlights it.
Mate, look on the other side. Mountain can can you see that track going up? No. Holy cow. I can, oh, you might not. Here, just move down a bit, you'll see. Look at that track zigzagging. Oh, yeah. Oh, take it to see, Mr. Murdoch. Let's stretch our legs. That's a beauty. I hope that's ours. I think that's ours. That's got to be ours. All right, now. In hand? Yeah. Alright. Alright, let me get my bike. If you lift it just a little bit, I'll just be able to pull the foot out. Yeah. Oh. One, two. Oh, again, hang on. One, two. Hey! Come on, you! There we go! Oh. You better stop this here. Is Steve and Should we pull over to the others? Yeah, I was just thinking that. I don't know how that was going. Fucking hell, look at that. Well, Nugget, what do you reckon? Like, we just looked at the contour map and, you know, that steep bit that, that we just went down, there's a bit there just as steep going up. I don't know if Jamie and um, Tom well, they might be worth turning around, going back and getting them before they get too far down, because both of them aren't going to get up that hill over there. I don't think so. And I think they, the further they come down, the further they got to get back up this. Yeah. I think maybe keep going. I came off and got my foot pin. You are? I had to lift it off his foot. Um, I was at the mercy of the vultures. That's the worst of it just there. <coughs> just there? Yeah. yeah. The Dave, thing... you said it gets worse. Oh, okay, it's, that's it. That's the worst bit here. And there, go around that corner. But on the other out. side, it's up and as steep as. Oh, it's as steep as a motherfucker. But I want you to hear. You've gone the hard bit anyway, so we might as well see if we can get up the other side, Dave, because, mate, yeah, yeah. that bit was easy to get up. It's easy to get up. The traction's quite good. Bit, and then the next big drop... I stalled and it just fucking bit sideways before I could even pull the clutch. Yeah. I locked up with the back brake, and it just fell yeah. sideways. Yeah, my, ju my judgement is, if you've done that, and... 
<coughs> I found it harder going down this this upper. Yeah, it's harder than going down. We just flew up there. Then that was easy. Well, that was harder. easy to to drive up there. You know, you got well, clear lines. We thought we'd come and rescue before like you got down too far where you couldn't go. But back. you've gone past the bit anyway. Can, this bit here, you can ride back to here easy because it flattens. Yeah. Once you go around that corner, just there, it flattens out. It goes up here, it's just big rocks and shit. It's, yeah. Yeah, we just. Well, you there. either got to ride up that now or. Right up the unknown on we'll the other side. We'll go and try the other side. Might be easier. And uh, yeah, as as Nugget says, I think us. I think we just go try down. the other side. What do you reckon? I think we could keep keep going. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go just try it. Yeah. And Jamie's behind him. Mate, how's that? Beautiful. <laughs> Stunning. It's a bit steep. A bit steep, all right, isn't it? Yeah. God, help me. Old, uh, old, old Flash Jamie come down one section from a raging man to the other one. Back brakes, skidding, flying, feet out. Mate, she was pretty good to watch. I said, how'd you do that? And I don't even think he even knew himself. Four kilometres, straight up the hill, Nugget. <laughs> right, oh, we gotta get some tears. <laughs> Nothing like grown men crying. It could oh, be me. Oh God! Me. An apprehensive old me. <laughs> down through this creek and then four kilometers straight uphill and some of it's as steep as what we just did going downhill mountain ash oh, I've heard of them. and when the fire went through it's they only uh, grow by tubers see off the bottoms oh, yeah. they are dead for 200 years Bullshit. no it's a massacre the fire, uh, the fire just went through and killed all of this and just destroyed it it was a ecological disaster yeah. and this and this is see these tubers they're yeah. the baby mountain ash growing up off the roots yeah. It just fucked it. So
pretty hot, not compared to Switzerland and Austria, but for Australia, what's our highest peak? 2,200? Yeah, it's, yeah, something like that. It's only 400 metres off our highest peak. Look we at, could nearly cast the fishing line that far. Around with the rocks. How fun was that, though? That was good fun. I love it. What's happened, Tom? What's happened? How many times have you come off? Come off once, got stuck once, come off, then <laughs> asked right after that. Picked it up. Just knew my, uh, what was it? My capabilities. Went yeah. up to my ambitions. Ambitions to get mixed yeah. up. We're in the Victorian high country. There's a front coming in. We're running in front of the front. We're the front runners. Here we are, about a bit of our freezing our nipples off. saying this, watch out for four wheel drives and rocks and sticks and gnarly bits. Ten gnarly rocks, they knock you off line. Down there in that sunlit valley, I don't know if you can see it, that green, that's Tom Groggan. Ah, nice bit of mud. I'm getting a bit fucking psyched out. It's good grip. It's not that slippery. I'm quite happy with that grip. There's nothing wrong with that grip. I'm very happy with that grip. Tom, 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 what are you doing? Tom 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 Jamie, Jamie, Jamie.
nice deep, I think. Piece of piss. Nagwa, Tom Grogan crossing of the Murray River. We've made it unscathed. Can the can our stalkers make it unscathed? That's the thing. Here they go, they're in trepidation. Because you can't see the Ooh. exit point. Come on boys, pump up. Come on. Here they go. Jamie's first out of the blocks. He's going the right way. He's a that's a copy book, textbook way of doing this. Well he picked up a branch. Here goes Stalker Tom. Now he's turning a bit too early and he's aiming for the deeper water. And he's created a bow wave. I'll only give him a credit for that part. Only a credit, Nugget. Bit of a zigzag got there. Dead horse cap. Heading back down. Two days of great riding. Thanks for watching the singles only high country adventure. For those interested in my Husqvarna 501 rally, the full details of the build and a review of its performance is heading your way in a couple of weeks. Now, for those new to the channel, if you like what we do, for God's sake, subscribe. And for those who are still hungry for more singles goodness, time for a closer look at Flash Jamie's 2023 KTM 500 EXE adventure. Till next time, see you soon. Okay, we're loading up after two fantastic days of riding in the Victorian high country. And on this ride, I've had the pleasure of riding with Flash Jamie, we're going to call him. And he rocked up on this KTM 500. It's a six day edition, chilly, the chilly six day edition. And mate, there's some brilliant ideas on this, Jamie. So I yeah. just want you to yeah. kind of run through the bike and tell me what you've yeah. done because it's loaded with bling. So I'll correct you on the six days. It's oh. actually just a 2023 EXE. Oh, with the plastics of the six yeah, days. So I've got a South American background. My yeah. Parents are Chilean and I had to have the plastics. And so I got the plastic kit from a 2019 six days. Right. And I cut them and shaped them to fit a 2023. Get out of here. That's um, dedication. Um, so yeah. basically we, um, we have the high weight dirt bikes handguards. Yeah. And I've made made a, a dash, fabricated a little dash to have yep. my quick charger, blinkers and uh, heater grips, which I haven't installed yet. Yep. Uh, it also moves your taco for the back so you can now read it. Yep. Um, this is um, from Mark at... Oh no, this Mark is from, Cockrell? Yeah, actually not that one. This is from Takamoto. Takamoto, yes. Yep. In, um, in, in America, in the US. Yep. And... Uh, it just tidies up, uh, reduces the, the, the size of your other cluster. Yep. Um, added the traction control and different map selections. Yep. I've got my Garmin 650 yep. mounted there with a quad lock running a quick charge into there. Yep. Um, yeah. And uh, we've got the Scott's rubber mount steering damp now. Yep. Uh, it's currently got the, the red rubbers. You can have blue for a little bit of a softer feel. Yeah. Um, Dave, you've got on your 501, what's your suspension? Uh, mine's K-Tech. K-Tech. So yeah. K-Tech and Schaefer yep. is another company. They yep. manufacture the same components in the same factory. Right, right. Um, I think it's Turkey or somewhere there. Yep. So you'll notice I have the same suspension with the same yes, slickers yes. on top and I have the compression uh, underneath. The, yeah, yes. yep. Uh, and that was done by Terry Hayes Shock Treatment. Yeah, amazing suspension, isn't oh, it? Oh, absolutely yeah, it transformed the whole thing. First thing you should get mm -hmm. done. Yep. Um, IMS 17 litre tank. Yep. Um, this is from Takamoto. So if you notice, most of the time they'll route your fuel line into the steering head stem. Yeah. And you'll, um, when you drop it, you'll drop fuel through that bottom bearing, yep. which wears out. So I've, I've got a check valve in this particular yep. hose. Um, that's a Moscow Moto. Uh, Gnome 
I yep. think it's called the gnome. Moscow Moto gnome, little tank bag. Yep, yep. Uh, just have lights, yep. GoPro accessories. Yep. I've uh, got some this, protection this there, steg pegs. pegs. Now, if you have a look at this side, I had to manufacture a um, fabricate little bracket. Yeah. Um, because the bolts are steg peg supply, and when you do your air filter on and off, you'll you'll wear that bolt out. Right. Yeah. Uh, which I did. I had to. I stripped it. Yeah. So I've just manufactured that to bolt to the. True North yep. Moto racks. Which are... Yeah, so under underneath your Moscow Moto is yeah. True North Moto rack. Now you and I discovered them separately, yes. but they're fantastic, aren't they? Uh, absolutely the best. Yeah, uh, really happy with them. I saw them on a, on a comment on some YouTube video, and I contacted them and ended up buying through Takamoto because I had so many other purchases through Takamoto. So yeah. combined shipping. Yeah, um, brilliant. This is the Moscow Moto 40 liter, yep. and I've just added. A couple of bags, one for shoes and yep. one for... Yeah, hey, Jamie, I love the back of this bike. It's amazing, isn't it? So, what I love is um, I've put the slimline blinkers, yeah. indicators from Takamoto again. Yeah. And also, this is called an enduro plate. Yeah, it's look a, at that. It's a magnet yeah. and you can just knock it. It doesn't break. Break, yeah. Wonderful and, thing. And it, it doesn't even flap. If you're behind me, that doesn't even No, it doesn't up. flap. Only no. When you fall. no, no. Um... The uh, Acro pipe yep, running okay. there with the Acerbus protector, just in yep. case of some loose yep. things rubbing. Yep. Um, Bit of protection on the Acerbus yeah, on the crank case. Yeah, coast. just in case <laughs> you drop it and you get a, a puncture in there, I yeah. thought it'd be some protection. Also, that's from Takamoto because when you run the P3 pipe guard, yeah. it, it's very, very close. And so I had right. to get, yeah. and this can just be done. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got the same thing you had. Except in a WV version, you've got yeah, yeah. the uh, Dirt Tricks. Yes, yeah. Um, preload. Yeah. That's the WP version. Yeah, same which, thing. Yep, yeah, same thing. So you can adjust preload just with the yeah. tool. And I did that for this ride. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so the uh, WP preload adjuster. Yep. Seat Concepts XL. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Yep. Extremely happy with that. Yep. Um, Tuggle oh, strap. Yeah, and this um, bash plate too. Oh, uh, yes. So that's a molecule bash plate again from Takamoto, um, and they uh, it's this engineered plastic polymer. Very uh, tough. It's like Teflon. Very tough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and light. Now, before we go, you got to show us your blinkers working because they are an, a innovation in themselves. Yeah. I've never seen blinkers uh, like yeah. this. Fork wrap indicators. Yeah, fork wrap indicators. Yeah. They're and, cool. Um, so when he starts the bike up. Yeah, have a go at that. Very bright. No, they are very bright. Yeah. They're excellent. And then your back ones are good too. No, they're useful. Yeah, I've got to get my rear end sorted. Yeah, so that's uh, great. So, yeah, all right. That's everything. Um, Mate, well done. Love it. Very, very happy with the uh, 500. Yeah. Um, I've got an 1190 and, yeah, it's a handful at times, yeah. and when you want to take that track, you just can't. Could you imagine doing some of the stuff yeah. we did? You'd get down, but you wouldn't never get back up. Yeah, I, I've done I've done that on an 11, uh, 1090, yeah. and it, it you know it's, it's it, awesome. it was far more enjoyable yeah. today. And you got more of a ride. Well, well Jamie, it was a pleasure riding with you. Thank you very much. For, yeah, mate, it was excellent. Enjoy. Such a really great time, it. and your generosity too. See All you, right, mate. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. This behind me, that day is gonna come. I'm breaking the walls down one by one. Nothing can stop me. That day is gonna come. Oops.